Hi, I'm Hannah and this is James and we own a 37 foot James Warham uh, Tangaroa. And we come from the rugged but beautiful west coast of South Australia. I realised once I was unhappy here We spent a few months getting the boat ready for our adventure and set off from Port Lincoln. Seems there's red wine where my heart once was Slowly melted over time I purchased the Tangaroa in Adelaide, um, South Australia. A guy named Alan, an old guy, Alan, built the boat over three years. It had only been in the water two years when I purchased it and it was in um, really good shape. And... Tangaroa is a Polynesian uh, god of the ocean. Well, the original, the original dream um, behind the boat was to sail west, which is sailing a. From what I've found out now, is, is going a little bit against the grain as far as sailing or circumnavigating the country. Um, but against the grain is sort of what I like. And to get to the Abrolhos Islands, and I, and I figured if I got as far as the Abrolhos Islands, I could get to Indonesia and, and go anywhere, really. What just happened? I just had the first surf off the Tangaroa. Yeah. Well, I don't want to stay Now we're cruising along. Trying to find a nice anchorage because we haven't had one for about three nights. The two cabins on the Tangaroa are identical. Um, we use one for our bedroom and the other side is used as a galley. Paul's Bay. We had a really rough night last night, 40 plus winds. Um, it was very horrendous. If you want me, you should run. Island, 50 mile out to sea and it's like you step into Jurassic Park. We're moored on the northern anchorage next to a seal colony. It's one of the most remote islands on the west coast. There is an abundance of beautiful wildlife. We've seen rock wallabies, Cape Barren geese, peninsula dragons, eagles, New Zealand fur seals and Australian sea lions. And here we are on Pearson Island. We have the elusive yellow footed rock wallaby. It's a beautiful creature. It hops around on the rocks mysteriously. <laughs> <laughs> When I purchased the boat, um, it was in pretty good shape, like um, cosmetically and um, and whatnot. Like the, I didn't need to do much to it in that sense. I anti-fouled it, um, and that was about it. But as far as fitting it out for the for the trip that we're doing, um, I had open an open helm, so I built a bit of a dodger, wave dodger, for a bit of wind and 
and spray protection which is just sort of vital and um, I built a new davit to hold the, the Zodiac that we purchased on the back and um, a new solar set up and so and, and some el an electronics package basically but we just put a brand new four stroke for re uh, reliability and um, just it's a hell of a lot quieter and more economical. We're in Streaky Bay. Um, we have beached the cat at Doctor's Beach uh, to get some maintenance done. The tides are getting higher and today I think is the day that we're going to get off. For the past for the past five weeks, um, my beautiful girlfriend Hannah and I have uh, sailed from Port Lincoln, my hometown, um, west, battling some pretty horrendous weather and also some pristine weather. We've got as far as Hannah's hometown, Streaky Bay, and then we went further west um, to a place called Point Sinclair which is um, basically Penong and we spent about four or five days there surfing and getting really good waves and it was a bit one of the boxes I wanted to tick was sailing my boat there and being able to surf. Francis Island on our way back to Streaky for the winter. And how fast are we going? We're doing six or seven knots. So we've retreated back to Streaky Bay to leave the boat and it's on a safe mooring and we're going to pick up later on in the year when the weather improves. Back in love with things you never knew Since you and I did not turn out so bad Yes, the world is slow coming, coming back around, back around to life. My name's James Gogan. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bucky! Ciao! Break it down. Come on and break it down now. Come on and break it down. Where are we going? Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'll figure it out.